we're seeing massive growth now for us in the road bike range, um, and it's predominantly about what's come new. You know, as you know, we've had a, a number of new models, and the MT800 has been the the flagship for for this year. Um, and that they've, they're really looking at what what the market's wanting, and they're bringing out things that are built for that market. You know, they've got the they've really got the throttle on the on the throat regarding bringing new stuff to the market, and and I think that's really the, where the brand's going from leaps and bounds. You know, they're not sitting back doing nothing, waiting for other people to do it. They're, they're bringing new stuff out, which is the key. The bike just gets better and better. Super impressed. The heart and soul of this bike is the engine, which uh, has been donated by KTM. Uh, there's obviously this growing uh, bond between KTM and CF Moto. Some of the KTM tooling is now owned by CF Moto, so you're going to see a number of KTM inspired engines that will be uh, part of the range right up to the 1200cc V twin. This particular engine has been incredibly popular uh, in the KTM models in uh, their road bikes and their off road bikes. The, it's a 270 degree uh, crank throw, which if people remember the old TRX Yamaha, which uh, again showing our age. But that was a very, very popular engine. Um, it gave that V-twin feel, V-twin sound. When the new touring model was released, uh, I had one of those for uh, about two weeks. The bike started out really, really well. Uh, both of the models I've had so far started out very, very well. But late, uh, late on in the test, uh, they started to develop a, a bit of a hiccup, a bit of uneven fueling. To be fair, we, you know, we've taken on the, uh, the opinion of what everyone had, um, and some riders noticed it, some riders didn't. It was just the, the, the particular rev range and speed range and, and which is affected, so we've taken on board and CF Moto have as well. So they've been working actively with us to, to get a new mapping software for it. I was a little bit apprehensive when I heard that it was going to be only the ECU uh, upgrade. Uh, I thought there might have been some hard parts used in the airbox. Um, I've seen a lot of the online forum talk where people had come up with uh, various solutions to the air filter, uh, the air filter element, uh, either holding it steady or changing it to, to another type of air filter. But this bike has been upgraded in the ECU with a map that they've worked out locally, which is a real credit to the guys here at Mojo Motorcycles. Um, they've worked out the fuel map themselves, and the factory will be applying that fix to every owner um, in Australia and also, I believe, New Zealand. Uh, and it's, it's, it's really just remapping, reflashing uh, the ECU. Yeah, correct. So, um, so this is the, the, the test mule, if you want to call it that at the moment, which we're doing in, in our um, demo bike. Um, so once we get it perfected and we know that it's right, we'll then be able to roll it out. So we're still in that test phase at the moment, but we're, fingers crossed, we, we believe we've got it pretty, pretty good. You know, and we'll, we'll backdate it to all the customers that have got the, the units out in the market, if they want to update to the new software, we'll, we'll make sure that's facilitated as well. Um, but again, it's one of those little things, you know, the bike's only been on the market in Australia now, what, four months, roughly, maybe five. Um, you know, we found this issue and, you know, we think we've got a fix for it already, you know, from the factory. Well, I've, I've rode the bike now for about 550Ks over a few days and I think it's 99.5% right. I mean, I don't know if 100% is possible, but the bike performed really well started cold, um, it runs really good on diesel and a whole range of other fuels, <laughs> no, just joking. The, it runs really well. Um, compared to how it was, I'd say the bike's fixed. Overall, the, the bike has really hit the ground running. Um, we've got you know, the, the mount that we've sold out there, even the, the new limited edition sandstone one that we just released, there's only 50 of coming to the country. You know, that pretty much sold out before they even arrived. And, and the customers are loving the product. It's giving them the ride, the features, the benefits, all the little things that they can do at a fair and reasonable price. You know, we don't say we're the best at anything, but we're gonna supply something that you're gonna be very happy with that's gonna do the job.